Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my Unreal Fractured Mesh tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make the how to use how to turn static meshes into fractured meshes. All right, so let's create a quick, simple scene. Have a nice little test area. That should do. Let's give this some light. All right. Now we want to go to view browser content browser go to building meshes you can select any of the meshes here but I'm going to select this wall right click and edit using static mesh editor alright there are two ways to get to the fracture tool tool fracture tool or click the icon right here All right. now we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna generate 150 chunks Alright, uh, quick tip. When I was first learning how to do this, I didn't use any uh, support chunks, as you'll see right here when you select a chunk. If uh, you don't have at least one support chunk and you say fire a rocket into it, only one chunk's going to fall out and your wall is going to fall over, and it really just doesn't work very well. So, what we're going to do is select all the bottom chunks. So then, uh, hold on one second. It's really hard to select these things. Um, holding left click and dragging forwards and backwards zooms in, left right rotates, and <coughs> holding down right mouse uh, rotates. Also, to select uh, multiple chunks at a time, you should hold down control when you click. Okay, finally. I have them all. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then select support chunk. Now, basically, what will happen here is say I cut this area right here out. This would fall off as one piece because it's no longer connected to the support chunks. And if I cut all the support chunks out, this wall would just fall over. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to slice it. And then I'm going to save this as Unreal underscore wall fractured. Okay. go to all assets real quick and type in unreal underscore and there you go there's your wall but oh, wait uh, one quick thing I forgot uh, go back into the status mesh editor and where you see use simple box collision and use simple line collision uncheck those and then save alright the reason uh, we uncheck those is so say you cut a hole in the wall you would then be able to walk through hole in the wall which is pretty nice for a realistic type game all right now we'll drag our mesh onto the scene all right now I'll just go up build build all and then wait shouldn't take too long. Light mass doesn't take too long with only one light. Ah, there we go. Now right click, play level from here. And then, as you can see, it fell right off. Very cool. is how you make a fractured mesh and Unreal Engine.